Hello, and welcome back to Van Tales Stories from the Road. This is Susan, and today it's all about creating some space in the van. I'm enlisting some help to raise the curtain rod that's currently blocking the overhead cab space. To get the job done, the use of an angle saw and a drill press come in handy. So as you might have noticed, I've got a curtain rod here and it is a blackout curtain that separates my cab from the living area. It's great. I've even got this great um, area here, the shear panel that lets light come through when I want it to. But the one thing that I don't like about this is that it cuts down on my overhead bin space. I'm only able to put certain things up here uh, that will fit between here and here. And I would like to you know, move this up a little bit so that I can also take uh, advantage of this other space up at the top here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to uh, cut this piece here, uh, the, the front piece here, I'm going to cut that down uh, right above where this screw is and that will allow me to bring the whole thing up. And I'm pretty excited about that because that means I'll be able to store more things in my overhead uh, bin. And you know, as I do, that storage in a van is a precious commodity. All right, let's do it. So this is a better view. This is the piece that hangs from the ceiling. And then uh, this actually, this round piece holds the curtain rod in place. And then you've got a hole here that uh, fits in that slotted area. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. How much does that give us? Like a half inch maybe? Yeah, it's a little over half. Yeah, that's great. Ah, uh, that's that's wonderful. That's a nice little trick. It sure is. really hot, huh? I learned that we're going to cut them from the other side now. Oh, okay. Because I left some Mario in front where it skipped. Oh, but you know, nobody's going to see that, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but you know, in the future, we won't have to worry about it. Right. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, take it back. You ruined it. Actually just it's did. been ruined. Polish it up some. Nah. Okay. Nah, don't worry about that, man. Nobody's gonna see that. I mean, everybody watching this video is gonna see that. Uh, but in general. Hey, these things look great. Wait, wait a second. What happened here? Oh, jeez. Oh, that guy didn't even stay on the line. Yeah. Like he cut from the backside. <laughs> no, it looks great. That's fantastic. I can't wait to put those in. I'm do it now. Oh, um, you know, thanks so much for your help. Appreciate it. You're the best. Man, a tip. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there, but uh, at its highest point, you can see that we have a little bend still, just the way that the piece has been manufactured. We're gonna take some vice grips and we're gonna bend that just a touch so it lays flat. All right. Yeah. Okay, so my brother's got a really good idea here. I was thinking that we were going to bend this piece here and just bend the bottom piece up a little bit, but he's saying, why don't we bend this little piece back a little bit? So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's do it. It's also, yeah, so I was going to put the vice grips here. Mm -hmm. I could just take that off. To 
Ooh, yeah. Do you want me to unscrew it and it'll yeah. just be so much easier? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. These brackets are pretty big. Mm. Hmm. Just give it a little tappy tap. Just tap, tap it, it in. in. <laughs> Let's take a look at it now. What, what color are its hands now? Do you know what we did? Uh, we did it the wrong way. We didn't, but um, I think we've lowered. <laughs> yeah. We raised it up, but then we took the bend out, so that's going to lower it back down effectively. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, let's see. Let's compare it to one of the other ones, and then we'll have a good idea. I mean, it's it's basically the same. It's yeah, it's fine. That's okay. negligible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put this down and give her a few taparinos on something a little less giving. We do that like right there. Um, mark it with that, and then the hole will be like a little bit above because it's fat. Yeah, I think that'd be great. So, plan B we're just gonna put another hole in all together. Go ahead. Nice. So I thought this was going to be really straightforward. It's going to use the hacksaw. I was going to cut this baby off. We're going to be good, but it's not really that involved. Um, but we have had a couple iterations and uh, yeah, I think we're onto something now. Plans never go right the first time. We're improving upon the plan. It serves as a registration point. Put that piece in there, align this, make sure our hole is in the right spot. Close enough, close enough. And so in the first one we made a preliminary drill and then this one are you going to switch it out drill and I come am. back with the yeah make sure that we don't try to put too much strain on the bits nice. Well, let's do it three more. Deal. Okay, guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna see if these will fit. Basically, I had to get these because when we decided to make the new hole, um, we didn't have a tap, what's called a tap, um, to put the threads in the hole. So I couldn't just reuse the screw that I had. So um, I decided I'll uh, just get some screws with some bolts to hold it in place. I was going to get um, like a split lock washer, but they didn't have the size that I needed. Um, so for now, we'll see if this works. I'm hoping it will. Already this project has turned into uh, more uh, of a project than I thought it was going to be. I was just gonna take a hacksaw and, and uh, saw some some of the extra off, but then when we got in there, my brother was like, hey, we could give you a lot more space if we put our own hole in there. And that's what we did. Okay, so this goes on the top, this goes in here. And again, we've got this, this new hole right here. The bottom hole was the existing one. Uh, actually, the bottom hole was for the set screw. Uh, we've, we won't need that anymore because we've got a bolt now and instead of uh, this being at an angle since we straightened it out there will be any clearance for the rod to pop out of there so i don't even think i'm going to use a set screw okay here we go ah, i 
hope this works. Okay, so yeah, look at that, it fits. Nice. And then we'll just put that right here. Right. And move that all the way up. I'll tighten that once I get it up there. Wow, look at that. That's pretty legit. I'm excited about that. Let's try it up on the actual ceiling and see what it looks like. Oh, it's going to be great. Look at that, guys. Look how much clearance I'm going to have. So I'm going to move this down a little bit so I can put the rod on. And in order to hide all of this, I'm just going to move the curtain over so that it's all going to be hidden by the curtain itself. Pretty slick, if I do say so myself. Well guys, we're all done here and um, I think I'm really happy with the results. Uh, I want to thank my brother for helping me with this project. Um, you know, I don't have a, a drill press in the back of my van, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, this works great. Um, take a look at the final product. Look at all this room we have here. Uh, before, let's see if I can do this on the level. There's hardly any room at all between the top um, of the van and the bar here. And then we've got all this room here. The other thing that's really great about this is that before, since this curtain hung a little bit lower, um, it wasn't snug against the top of the ceiling here. So that meant that, and, and also I turned the hooks around. So the, the rod was sitting out a little bit further and a little bit lower, which meant light was getting in and out but this is great because now it's nice and tight up against that ceiling. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming along for this one. Um, maybe you got some tips, tricks, whatever. Um, you know, if it even helped one person, yay. Well, wait, it did help one person, me. But I hope it helped some of you guys too, for real. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it as mentioned. So uh, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, and you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care. I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.